you can probably relate to this right now or at some point in your life. Just the concept of doing the work and not procrastinating. Like, I don't know about you, but for me personally, especially in college, I'd always wait till the day before the exam to finally study. I'd always wait till the day before it was due to write the essay, to do my homework. And this was this concept of just pure procrastination, like struggling to do the work in a lot of areas of my life. And then something really changed. So when I turned 21, I dropped out of college. I didn't go to school anymore. And suddenly the focus went from school, education that to be, to be frank, I really did not care about, went into business, sales, making money. And I, I cared about that, I liked that shit. And I noticed something changed having to watch the videos, to take notes, to read books, 80% of the time, it wasn't even difficult. I enjoyed it. And I would literally could not sleep at night because I was so focused on it, like acquiring a new skill. What's a new word track I could use in a close? How could I make more money next month? Like all this shit, it became an obsession and doing the right things was kind of just my default. And I think a problem, the reason why I wanted to make this is to literally talk to my former self. So if I could tell him something, it would just be to love what you do, to like truly be passionate about it. The reason I think I got good at sales quickly and why I don't mind literally just staying up till, till midnight, 1 a.m., just learning new word tracks, learning new principles, new sales psychology, all this stuff is because I genuinely enjoy it. Like it's not work to me, it's fun, it's a game. And when you love playing the game, you don't mind practicing. So I feel like there's two sides of the coin. You've heard the phrase, the man who enjoys the journey will walk farther than the man who wants, likes the destination. I'm paraphrasing, I don't, I don't really know the shit too well. And then there's the other side where it's like complete BS. No, like I want the destination, all that shit. And truthfully, I'm, I'm kind of gotten to the point in my life, granted I don't, fucking know everything dude but I've gotten to the point in my life where I really do think it's about enjoying that journey because it is a long game I can speak from personal experience here if you play this game short you know business making money the 1099 route if you play this game short and you just want to like get rich quick you'll fucking lose it dude like I'll just tell you straight up you will lose that shit because you will make the wrong plays You'll be trying to like get it today. And when you get, try and get it all today and make place for today, you fuck yourself tomorrow. So I think if you could make the decision to do it for 10 years, like that's a great kind of mindset I would say to have. Because I feel like so many people, they're just like, oh, I'll do what I hate, get my money and then I'll leave. And granted that's cool, but I don't really think anyone wants to retire, like real talk. I think it's like this fallacy we have when we're you know, 18 to 21 that we want to retire, but you really don't. Like if you love the game, you, you just want to play, you want to win. And that's how I feel personally is, you know, I don't really want to just fucking sit around, dude. Like I've done that, it sucks. You get bored, your mindset goes to shit. It's just lonely, dude. No one wants to do that. You want to be in the game. You want to participate. I think that's why we see athletes like you know LeBron, Tom Brady, just stay in the game so long because they love it. They want to fucking play. They want to compete. Same thing with even the UFC, dude. These guys are 40 years old beating the shit out of each other. You know, they have every excuse not to do the work. I, I just truly believe, at least in my life, when you love what you do and you found that thing, like 80% of the time, the work's not difficult. And I'm not saying it's just going to be, oh, it's easy to fucking do the work all the time. It's not, you know, just like anything, dude. Imagine this, bro. If you made money fucking playing Xbox, whatever you do, whatever you do, drinking booze, right? If you made money, it wouldn't be that hard. You'd be like, fuck yeah, I get to drink. And you just get mucked. So it's like a similar psychology. If you genuinely enjoy that, that process, that journey, you know, the art of whatever it is you do, that's actually the best form of discipline. 
And when you do that, you know, like I was saying, there's going to come days where it's difficult, but more often than not, you genuinely enjoy it. And I feel like that's what made getting the work done in my life a little bit easier is just finding what you love. And if you can't find it, are you, are you looking? Because if you're not, dude, I can't feel bad for you. But if you're actively looking, you'll find it. It's just a matter of one. You switch it from if to one. And that's the biggest thing that I would say turn me from procrastinating to being productive. You know, pretty much right after I finish my 15-minute routine, I, I'm straight to work. And there's not a ton of downtime for me anymore. And I think a lot of that is just due to the simple fact that I love what I do. There, there comes days where I don't, though, bro. Like today, I had a bunch of shit I had to do. A bunch of reasons to not make this video. But I did it. Because I'm committed. That's, that's when the real discipline kicks in. You, it's it's kind of like your, your last resort. You know, is if, if you fucking love what you're doing, more often than not, it's going to be pretty easy. And then comes the days where you, you really don't want to. This is how a lot of people are about the gym. Like, I, I used to hate the gym. When it got to the point I actually started enjoying the gym, I didn't really miss a ton of workouts. I became really consistent in the gym because I just enjoyed it, the peace, the solitude it gave me. And I think part of forming that habit to where you enjoy the work is enduring. And I think part of your body, your, your brain just kind of adapts and like, okay, this is our norm. This is our new normal now. This is what we do. And then you kind of fall into that state where you've adapted. So at first, yeah, you might have to use, you know, discipline, willpower, better yet, systems. Use systems. Read, uh, read Atomic Habits, too, if you're looking uh, to form new stuff, new habits. Great book by James Clear. But that's the big key is eventually it gets to the point where it transforms and it does become a habit where it just becomes your new normal and you actually start to enjoy it. Your brain gets a dopamine hit from it. So little bit of a different video. This is a freestyle for you guys. So ho hopefully you dig it. But stay focused. Stay in your commitments. I have a personal development group. It's free. You guys are actually joining. It's pretty fucking crazy. Not going to lie. Um, the link is down below. So if you want to join it, join it. But be serious. I'm not going to let you join. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.